your chance to meet our fellows. Frissa, would you like to introduce yourself to the Grameen Foundation community? Yeah. Hi, I'm Fiza. I'm from Pakistan, but I've been living and working and studying in Southeast Asia for the last six years. I hold a master's degree in development studies with a specialization in public health. For the last two years, I've been working on issues of sexual and reproductive health with UNHCR, as well as working with the communications consultancy here in Malaysia. Uh, I, at the communications consultancy, I work primarily on public affairs and various infrastructure programs, economic development projects, and so on. And for the last three months, I've continued to work in communications. I am a freelance writer for Resource Magazine, which is a quarterly publication, which goes out to about 3,000 industry professionals and companies in the oil and gas sector. And what I do for them is that I cover different NGOs trying to raise awareness for their projects and possibly raise funds. Um, and so I do these different profiles. I also or now and then I do company profiles as well, but most of my work is related to CSR. Um, I've also been working ad hoc with a local radio station called BFM 89.9, where I did a show on identity politics and what it means to be Pakistani. And I also covered the May elections in Pakistan. Um, that's also how I sort of became eligible for this fellowship, since most of the work I'll be doing over the next one year will basically focus on communications. That's fantastic. What a great background. So how do you expect to bring all these communication skills to this particular fellowship this year? And why don't you tell the community a little bit more about where you'll be placed and what you'll be doing? Sure. So I'll be spending the next one year in Kenya working with Aaron Connor, mainly on the e-warehousing project. And what we're hoping to do is raise greater awareness about what the project entails and show how this adds to Grameen Foundation's years of being a thought leader in poverty alleviation efforts in sub-Saharan Africa. And so what I'll be doing is basically creating content for what the project is doing, basically uh, writing stuff for beneficiaries just to make sure they have greater access to information, uh, liaising with donors and looking for places for us, you know, new pla new grant donors or new places where we can raise funds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's, that's mostly what I'll be doing, along with some research, hopefully. <laughs> well, fantastic. And, and what are you personally looking most forward to in your, in your year on the ground in Kenya with Grameen Foundation? Well, I'm, I'm really excited to be working with Grameen Foundation and specifically in Kenya for a number of reasons. The first being is that I would really hope to, you know, develop an expertise in ICTs and going forward, I really want to work on ICTs just because they have so much, you know, you can do so much with them. You can use ICTs, ICTs for public health projects. You can use them for livelihoods projects. It just gives you a really large scope of work that you can get involved in and Kenya has sort of been the perfect incubator for that and I think Kenya as an environment is also really really interesting because it's home to a bunch of startups there are lots of NGOs working there so lots of you know avenues for learning for meeting interesting people but I think I'm also really really kicked about working with Grammy Foundation because everyone I've spoken to so far in the organization has been really stellar and I'm just really looking forward to being involved with them. Excellent. Well, we're really looking forward to having you on board as well. So thanks very much. And we'll be checking in with you throughout the year. Great. Thanks so much, Sammy. <laughs> Bye.